All right, team. We're going to have a pretty intense battle here. We got a blooded raid, which has come to our gates. Um, lucky for us, we... Uh, okay, everyone, you can continue your jobs. I told them to stop their jobs. Um, I, I need the people on the turrets basically back up there. Uh, all of you guys, though... If you're not one of the turret guys, which I think is basically from here to you, I'm pretty sure you're all... If you're not here, you're close to here. So I'm going to get you, you guys in here so that you are not working. You're not passive. And these guys, when they come charging in, hopefully we're able to take them out. Uh, turret guys, if you could hit ones that have crossbows i would really appreciate that wait what some of them tried to escape oh some of them are trying to fall back hey, can we hit those dudes please gus um and then al jr if you've got a clear line of sight on the crossboys i'd like that a whole lot why are you so dang hungry maurice is my food industry that bad? It is. Well, defend us if you can. Um, let's see who... Well, Reth. Oh, Reth, I never upgrade your armor. Let's upgrade that really quick. Um, let's do like that. That. And that. Sorry if it's getting a little loud all of a sudden. Um, we'll get Ref here. We'll get Oro there. Like two dangerous guys. Uh, Blake, you can go there. Where's Trill at? Trill? Oh, you're really far away. Never mind. Go back to the that little base of ours. Oh, we got. Oro, or is it wheat? Wheat is the real, the real, uh, the real pain right here. Um, the anvil, why don't we have you there? Up here, blend, I'll get you on that side. Nope, oh, what's going on? Medic? Who are you trying to medic? Oh, someone got hit? Oh, Kyle, you're, you're probably dead then. Kyle got hit by a crossbow. Guys, can you both try and do first aid on him? Oh my god, he fell off the tower! He's he's probably dead. Um Ref. Oro, I definitely need you still up here. Uh you guys are gonna get crushed. Yeah, all of you guys besides Jig are probably going to get crushed too. So please fall back. And don't get crushed. How many of their crossbow guys are still out? A uh, number of them. Oh man. This is going to be a problem. I can tell already. These crossbow dudes are going to just annihilate people. And they've got at least... Uh, one that I can see there, if not more. Hopefully some wild beasts come by and distract them a little bit. Um, and I just need to keep an eye on who's coming into the fight to make sure that no one um, invaluable comes in. Stay back. Green has died. Oh my god. Was that a thousand damage that he just got to his head? One... Come on, Ref. Good job. Good job, Ref. Waterboy has died. Honestly, Ref, if you can just close the distance on that dude and take him out, that would be the, the best. Okay. Um, that guy's down. I think we won. I think that we may have, we, we, 
defeated the raid, we lost a number of people. I'm not even really sure about how to go about um, the rest here. Wow, a number of the slaves actually. Oh. Uh, let's maybe tell the crossbow people to just come down for a little bit. I, I suspect we may have crossbowed our own guy there. Masura. I don't even know where he is. The masters are dead. Oh, are these guys gonna try and join us? Nah, I don't think so. They're just trying to break out of their locks. That's kind of cool. Oh wow, you actually... Not only are you not bleeding out, but you're not even bleeding that bad. Then we're gonna heal them, or what? Oh, we should probably tell people to go back to their jobs if they can. They haven't already. Uh, Reth. That's strange that you don't have a first aid order. Man, that went better than I thought it might. I was like very, very concerned there. Uh, Wheat, you also have the job yet. Just making sure that everyone's got medic and whatnot if they can. They're still conscious and standing. Kind of thing. Um. You're pretty much out of first aid kits, though. Kind of weird that you're out of trade radius, because I thought that you were right here. Man, I can't believe Kyle Jr. Uh, fell from the top of the tower, and he lived. Dude lived. <laughs> I guess Kenji doesn't have fall damage. Right. There's something coming our way. What are y'all aiming at? Please tell me that it's not inside, yeah. Not inside. Something in the distance over there. Those things? Is it, are those the slaves? Are you aiming at those escaped slaves? Dude, seriously? Oh no, they're being chased by like a reaver, I think. So you can see that that little red blip is an actual reaver. Yeah. Well, that's kind of sad. And we could go free them, but they're not hivers. So it's not, not really worth it. Now, I know I really should take the time to pick through the dead. I know I really should. Um, but I don't know if I will. If I'm completely honest, it just we lost like at least three hivers there. Let's let's just pick up their gear so we don't lose the gear. It's good stuff, most of it. Uh, hold on, you're taking my my stuff, dudes. These escaped slaves are raiding our dead. Good way to get yourself killed there, mate. You better be looting that ironclad, not my unconscious guy. Um, there is Oro, who is dying. Okay, you're not actually dead. Uh, Green is dead, though. Definitely gonna take that back. Some really good gear that you dropped there, my friend. Well, that's tragic. A named Hiver. Like, a unique Hiver died. Southern Cook? Oh man, Southern Cook almost died. It says he's dying, but he's not gonna die. We just need to get some robo limbs on him. Waterboy is dead though. I have like no idea even how to process all this, like all the items and stuff. Like I like it emotionally I can process this, don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm a little bit more worried about the how do I handle all the stuff. And now I'm also a little bit worried that I'm posting my um my frames that people are gonna be like, man, you're not getting 60 frames, but you know what? 60 frames, you gotta like wake up to the lie that, that all that is. That whole culture of having to have like certain frame rates, so dumb. 
Okay, you do have like a little right leg on you right there. I should probably pick that up. Hey, Beanie. Uh, you wanna... Take that limb off? No, never mind. It's a prototype. It's like... A complete waste of space. Yeah, I don't know. Like, that... That was pretty soul-crushing to see us get so hit hard by those crossbows. I don't think that there's any other bodies that I can see that they are clear. They are clearly hybrids. That's the problem though, when people run into the city, it's so hard to keep track of everyone. Like it honestly is chaos. And I'm realizing just how bad our food situation here is as well, so we really, really should um, get some food. Oh, luckily for us, some food's just, like, walking by, though, so, perfect. Uh, who's got a backpack? Drill, but you're not here. Oro's unconscious. Can we give that to Blake? Yes, we can. Blake, go get some meat. People are starving. Like, they're literally starving right now. Oh, did... For a minute, I thought that he was, like, looting the dog for meat. Taking my idea. Did we end up... Oh, now that the cook's out, what are we gonna do? Because he's the one that's making the food. Pretty sure we have both rice, weed, and water. Oh, we've got tons of green fruit now. Do we have water stockpiled? I mean, water boy died, so... We do have water, it's not stockpiled. Yeah. I like Cav kind of don't want to even fix the broken parts in the system. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kinda of like, uh, is it even worth it? Uh Blake, no. No. Can you give this backpack to Beanie actually? Beanie, you're not carrying people back. So, why don't you go get the food? Now, I wanted to attack that group of, um, southern, or western hivers as well. I don't think we're gonna get to that. Um, they've probably wandered off. I was hoping to do, like, a double battle episode. Maybe, maybe we still will. But, I kind of doubt it. Why don't you go ahead and put some food in there? You think we're good? I think that we're good. I think we can leave here for now. We'll see about our poor starving turret men over here. Getting him some food hopefully soon. Everyone else is fine. It's just that poor dude he seems to be so far away he can never get food. Actually, no, never mind. We have quite a few people that are on the verge of starving here. Not actually that rare of a thing. Um should also look into getting people robotic limbs if they can walk. I'll pop one on. Okay, um, looks like all those dudes are fine. I bet it's these dudes who lost limbs, yeah. Our miners lost some right legs. I think I have some right legs. Yep, I got some right legs for you. Uh, the zone needs to um, actually carry you over. Okay. Who's... Okay, why don't you go ahead and pick this dude up. And then we'll go get him a robotic limb. Well, to so those of you that were saying you want more combat, I hope you're happy. <laughs> because I think we just lost the most hybrids that we lost in one episode in... Probably since we fought the Bugmaster, right? Correct me if I'm wrong about that, Blake. Always love seeing your statistical analysis. I always enjoy that. Um, okay. This is the dude that I'm really bringing over for the limb. We'll pop that on you. I know it's a little wasteful. He doesn't really need a skeleton grade one for what he's doing, but it's fine. Put him down. 
And you could go get the other dude. Yeah, just go pick him up. You're like right there. Sorry, I I know I could be doing this off camera, but if I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. You know, it's one of those things. I'm terrible at that. Like, my brain, if I don't do something right away, I always forget it. And students get so mad at me over it. Over it. But it's like, dude, like, if you want me to remember something, you need to write it down. I'm sorry. Like, I, I legit am. Sorry about that, but... At the same time. You gotta deal with it. Um, Later to come over and get that arm. There we go. Put it on. And looks pretty good. And there are people who could use a left arm. I don't think we have any of those made though, unfortunately. And we got a right arm. High quality. Expert, why are you not near your bench? You need robotic components. Oh, I think we're out of electrical components. I think we need to do a run. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> See, this is why building this stuff is not worth it. I'd rather just have Grog just get made and then go sell it and get all the parts. Um, well, at least we can say we tried and we got to tech level 6. I don't know if I've done that before. Let's see, at tech level 6... Yeah, you can make, like extra strong arms and actually make specialized things, which is pretty sweet. Okay. Um, did we end up sending... No, we didn't end up sending Igor and, and whatnot um, down south to that base. I was considering it, but then... Oh, look, we got all these birds. How pretty. Let's get up close to one. It's about as up close as I can get. Eh. Actually, about what I'd expect in terms of quality. I was trying to see if it was going to be a lower polygon or a high, higher polygon. Okay, so these dudes... Yeah, we're going to attack y'all. I'm sorry. But not really. Uh, 60, 60... A lot of 60s. I think that we'll be okay as long as we take out Mr. 69 stats over there. We'll, we'll find him. Let's get people kind of lined up. And then they'll just kind of come to us and we'll wrap in and it will go good. And you two can go around kind of like the back side. And Dick just come in a little bit. George, you know, if someone started doing this to me when I was on the road, I would start to lose my cool now that I know what they're doing. Well, I probably would lose my cool anyways. Uh, Mr. Igor, because I think you're essentially invincible, I'm going to charge you in here and have you attack this dude unprovoked. Oh. Is he dead? He is not dead. Uh, everyone else get in there. Igor's charging in, doing 400 damage to two people simultaneously. You know, just... Oh my god, he's... He is just a whirlwind. Holy cow. Um... Yes, make sure our people are not going to die. But as soon as you're done, let's find us uh, some people to maybe recruit if they're not all dead. Go we'll pick him up. And then we should actually start healing him if we've picked him up. They're all dead. They all died, like, instantly. Well, that went well for us. As poorly as the other... Thing went for us. That went very, very well for us. I'm going to pick these guys up in the off chance that the game actually lets us recruit them. It's very unlikely, but you never know. Uh, is he dead? No, he's not. Pick him up. And where was that prince at? 
because he was the whole reason we attacked, because he got a backpack. Um, Nishi does not have a backpack. Nishi, see if you can get that one. Yes, yes you can. Open it up. Oh, we'll take that. That's actually a pretty decent blade, considering the factions and the weapons that they get. That dude's walking around with a nice sword. Uh, why are we... The Jarlsberg's down. Uh, Benedict, go pick up Jarlsberg. And then Cheddar's getting up from being unconscious, I see. Okay, how are we moving now? Very slow. Uh, why? George. Um, Arnold, go get George. And you know what we can do is actually we can raid these guys and their caravan and their food and bring it to the Southern Hive. Oh, I love that. I actually really, really like that. The idea of raiding this caravan for food. Um, food slash cybernetics. I think we're kind of short right now on cybernetics, so I might take those if I can. But not in this backpack. Go ahead. We'll just load up on all of those. Actually, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know what else I want from here. I'll take those. And those. Yeah. Looks good to me. And then... What else could we do? I think that that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. A little band of uh, raiders here. Man, if Igor had been there to defend the base against the blooded raid, we might have had zero casualties. No, probably not. Actually. <laughs> Oh, my graphics card's actually kind of heating up. I was, I, I've got my computer set up so the LEDs are different colors for different temperatures. It's kind of like a light orange right now. Red, like dark red, is like, hey, this is way too hot. And then it, it'll actually change to purple when it's like within like three degrees of the maximum of the graphics card. Just to give me a little heads up, you know. But it's a. Uh, it's nice. It's a nice, simple way of seeing. Because I can't find a good system monitoring software that's not um, for um, overclocking your system. And I'm like, I'm super afraid because I feel like whenever I turn... I had like speed fan on my computer for a while. And I felt like whenever I turned on speed fan, it made like all my hardware like super overheat. Like, get extremely hot. Like, not just hot, like, crazy hot. Super fast. And it's like, okay, the fans, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to set this up. I'm not messing with this. And so I wanted to know how fast my span fans were going and the temperature of things while I was looking at games. But I don't want to overclock anything or have any risk of anything accidentally getting overclocked and then me just destroying my computer, you know? And it, it seems, I, I saw online there's something called MSI overclock, or MSI something, booster, I don't know. But in any case, that could work. Oh wow. Did you guys just, you, you killed a bunch of nomads, dude. What the heck? Just some dudes with their poles and their animals. Oh my god. He's just like kicking all his animals. Poor guys. Now if they had backpacks I would totally attack them and, and take everything that they had, but they're nomads. They're just some dudes trying to live with their animals, with their pets. As a as an animal as an animal person myself. Meaning that I evolved from animals. No. <laughs> um, no, as an animal person myself, I understand what y'all are trying to do, and it's beautiful.
Yeah, I've actually, so I've been reading, um, have any of you guys seen the Netflix show Altered Carbon? I've been reading the book, the, actually the audio book while I'm doing yard work. I, I would highly recommend it. It's really good. Like if you like uh, Blade Runner, it's good. And it's a good book. Like it, it's not just some, the, the show I really has think has amazing effects. So that might be helping my mental image of what's going on a little bit, but uh, I do have to say it's it's pretty sweet, and I like some of the details that you don't get uh, when you're watching a movie. There's just like, in a scene, that when someone's writing, they're telling you exactly what to focus on and exactly when to focus on it, and in a movie, you know, you can look at different parts of the screen at different times, and I feel like it's a lot less channeled and because of that um you you miss things like a lot of things like things that the people who uh made the um kind of just attack these guys yeah let's just attack them i almost just went around and avoided them but igor doesn't play like that no he doesn't igor is gonna get up in here are they gonna just keep on walking? No, they're, they're not going to just keep on walking. Igor doesn't allow that. Maybe Igor, you should move, though. Um, Benedict, why don't we also get you around, everyone else fall back. I just don't want to be micromanaging 20 people, you know. Let's just get the rest of the team falling back a little bit further. Good job. Um, but, uh... Good. Very nicely done. I'm liking what I'm seeing, team. Cool. Now the question is, do I get more food? Yeah. Just get a little bit of bone. Uh... Beak thing. Meat. There we go. This should last the base for a while. Fort Monroe should be stocked for quite a while food-wise. <laughs> recruits, now that's another thing. They, they are going to need some new recruits. If, yeah, we'll see. I am thinking, oh man, we didn't even do any of our money-making strategies, did we? Jazz was supposed to make money and then someone was supposed to run money up to the, uh, whatchamacallit? Black Desert City, see if we can get some more crazy cybernetics for people. We'll have to do that next episode. Yeah, and I don't know how regularly I'm going to be uploading the Kenshi now that the Bannerlord stuff's probably out by the time this is released. It will be out. I don't know if I'll have it downloaded by the time this is released. Probably will. Um, I would like to continue uploading it. It's just there's so many things kind of competing for time right now. Oh, Jazz, you need to go get more. Go get more. Go get them. The robots want more alcohol. <laughs> uh, and then who was it? Was it Jack? Jack was the prince that we left out here to make sake. Is there not any water? Oh, there's water. Oh, you're just making as, uh, the sake right now. I see. I got you, Jack. It's actually not even that much sake right now. And pet, what are you doing? You're unconscious. Oh, you're super hungry. Hold on. Jack, we need to work that first. Uh, the cooking bench. Let's work that before the um, sake. Pet needs it so the pet doesn't starve to death. Oh, you're doing cooked vegetables? Probably won't be doing the rice weed thing, but I'll let you. I'll let you figure that out. Yeah, Jazz, you're fine. Let's just run that down, and then you're out of green fruit, huh? Well, that's sad. Um, tell you what. Let's switch that over to the. Um, I know it's a waste, but. Switch it over to 
What is it? Rice bowl. Yeah, let's do the the rice bowl. We should be able to get at least one rice bowl from just the rice that was there. Yeah, there's there's plenty. There's plenty for food. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty good. Jazz was running back. He's aimless. Fantastic. Oh, he actually, he did actually get to where I told him to go. Oh, and don't worry about that. The wall's still there. It's just invisible. Like I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Well, it has been about half an hour. Let's just get in there. I'm just going to make sure that he gets the alcohol so I don't forget that before the next episode. I've done that before. When I've been like, I'm going to do all this stuff and then like I just upload. Or I just load up the game and nothing's been done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like my system in my other series a lot more of just doing like the armor making and then you'd always have like good weapons and armor. Um, how are we doing over there? Yeah, you guys are still moving. I'm just going to close this. The Jazz gets stuck on the outside because I want that to be a little reminder that Jazz needs to go somewhere. And let's see. I right, go around crew. I'll, I'll start with you guys. Yeah, I'll come back and I'll just join up with these guys. Probably at the base. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.